Hello, I am Wando Sumbu with the NAN News highlights for November 27, 2017. The federal government, in collaboration with Adamawa State, has concluded plans to receive from Cameroon 1,675 Nigerians displaced by the Boko Haram insurgency in the Northeast. The 1,675 persons, made up of 800 women and children, are expected back in the country in January 2018. About 80,000 Nigerians who escaped Boko Haram attacks and ran into Cameroon since 2013 are currently living in various internally displaced persons camps in that country. President Muhammad Buhari at the inauguration of a 30-man national minimum wage committee says Nigerian workers deserve fair and decent living wage. Buhari hinted that after the committee's work, an executive bill will be sent to the National Assembly for scrutiny before being passed into law. The federal government has condemned the alleged auctioning of migrants in Libya, saying it will investigate the matter for appropriate action. Spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Tiwa Tope Fatili, says government is working with the Nigerian mission in Libya to tackle the situation and evacuate stranded Nigerians. Dozens of armed security officers have been deployed in Kenya's capital, Nairobi, ahead of tomorrow's inauguration of President Uhuru Kenyatta for his second term in office. Main opposition leader Raila Odinga plans to hold a memorial rally for victims of alleged police brutality about 10 kilometers from the inauguration ground in spite of a police ban of the event. For details of these and other stories, log on to our website, nan.ng.